What should primary children know about the internet? How might this be taught effectively? By Amanda White. Information can be sent from one device to another through the internet. Data from personal devices can be converted into digital analogue. This can then be transported through cables or wireless media to other networks all over the world. The internet is an amazing technology that although only young has opened the opportunity to explore the world of knowledge. The internet can bring another world into the primary classroom. This can be a fulfilling world of knowledge and learning. It can present a range of perspectives and information of a wider variety that even the most well-stocked library could not make available. However, the internet can also be a world of potential risk and danger. Everyone has a role to play in empowering children to stay safe online. Be it the government, industry, parents, schools or the public, it is everyone's responsibility. A study carried out within London schools by Selwyn Potter and Cranmer in 2010 explored the difference between what children thought they understood about e-safety and the actual examples they give in relation to it. The results they found were shocking. Many children have seen the term risky or dangerous with mundane problems, such as deleting documents, getting in trouble with parents because of mishandling error messages, and losing their place in games. Children that children may not even be aware of what actual risks are, and making e-safety in school an even bigger necessity. Although all the schools in the study claim to practice e-safety, the quality of teaching due to poor training and under-competent staff in this area may have been an issue. In relation to the National Curriculum for 2014, children should be taught technological safety, learning what is acceptable and unacceptable behaviour online and how to report concerns. This will contribute to prevention of internet risks at school and at home. Many of the risks and dangers teachers will be discussing with pupils may be of a sensitive nature. It is important for teachers to get children discussing and exploring dangers as opposed to just being told them, so they truly understand them. There are many online resources to aid these lessons. Newsround have constructed video clips that can be shown in schools that highlight the dangers online. They use the experience of real children in different situations, such as dealing with cyberbullying, addiction to online technology, and the danger of meeting people online. The KidSmart website was specifically created to help children learn about the internet and safety on it. One of their many useful teaching resources is a collection of written scenarios that teachers can use in lessons to challenge people's reactions and draw out discussions of what to do in different situations. The internet holds great possibilities for education and thus is a key component in the 2014 National Curriculum for Computing. It states that in the internet should be used by children in schools to explore the World Wide Web of Information and allow them to collaborate and communicate with people all over the world. Teachers should utilise the web as much as possible in lessons throughout the curriculum, widening children's opportunities to seek and find new information. The internet is an amazing source for social constructivist learning. Supported by Vygotsky, he said that it is only through socialisation that learning is developed. His theories concluded that children's cultural development appears twice, first socially and then it is internalised. With this in mind within our technological society, children now have the opportunity to widen their understanding of the world and become more cultured human beings by sharing and conversing with a wider range of people. Through personal profiles, emails and blogs, children can share information with people all over the world with similar interests, which can promote reading and writing skills as well as giving children the opportunity to publish information in a variety of formats. In relation to unwanted comments and users online, Schools can protect children by using educational approved social networking sites such as Primary Bogger or the National Grid for Learning resources. Teachers should be encouraged to teach ICT as a valued subject on its own and not as a reward or just a method of presenting work neatly. Commuting can be creative and allows children the freedom to share knowledge without the restraints of school resources. Created using Powtoon.